news, a new student graces the halls of Upper Redwood High. His name is Myron Dinkle, a frail, straight-A student who wears braces and loves classical music. Our resident bully Dutch Kowalski was seen with Dinkle earlier today, trying to work out a beating-up schedule they can both agree on. Aww. Until tomorrow, this is Morgan Lee saying so long, fellow prisoners. <laughs> Another good show, Morgan. Why, thank you. Hey, how'd your date with Derek go last night? Uh, it didn't go at all. He left me waiting at the coffee hut for half an hour. He never showed up. You know, why can't I just meet a nice, sensitive, romantic, reliable, yet strong guy with nice hair and no acne and who loves good movies and good music and interesting conversations and long walks on the beach, and, you know? That's all I ask. <laughs> it's a reasonable request. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you find that guy, he's mine. <laughs> no, no, this time he's mine. You're always stealing my boyfriend. Oh, you're the one who steals them from me! Oh, are you crazy? That is what? so not true. Oh. What the? Yeah. Wendy, sweetie, baby, listen to me. You gotta break that date. Whatever you got planned with that guy cannot possibly compare to an evening with me. <laughs> Why? Well, for one thing, I've got jujubes. Rule number three, George. Keep your stupid Archie comics in your side of the room. Why, even the crossover editions. What crossover editions? Well, let's see. There's Archie dates She-Hulk, and then there's Wolverine versus Miss Grundy. Whatever. You brought 200 comics over to my house, and you're only staying for three days. I like to have a choice, depending on my mood. Like, yesterday was kind of a uh, Archie everything kind of day, whereas today is more of a uh, Archie's Pals and Gals day. What's the difference? You're kidding, right? <laughs> Just keep them on your side. Hey, Bert, Ernie, could you keep it down? I'm on the phone over here. And pick up your socks. You mean my foot puppets. <clears throat> I'm on the phone with Wendy Gwendolyn. Baby, I'll, uh, I'll call you later, see if you change your mind. All right. All right, you take care of my weedle bunny when you kid. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye-bye. You guys did not see that. Hey, I didn't hear what I did. What's all the yelling about, anyway? George is my roommate for the next three days. Yeah, my house being repainted. So my parents are staying at a hotel, and I'm staying with my buddy, Ethan. Why don't you stay at the hotel with your parents? Yeah. Hey, that's funny. They didn't present that as an option. <laughs> Anyway, I'd rather stay with my buddy Ethan. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. No, there will be none of this thing you call fun. My whole life is strictly regimented. I get home, I check my socks. I have dinner, I watch the nightly business report, I do my homework, I go to sleep. What about that time you spent talking to that lady on the internet? That's my personal time. <laughs> and yesterday we're like playing hockey for like three hours. Shh, shh, shh. Hockey? What's this? You're not thinking of joining the team again, are you? What? Um, it might have crossed my mind. We'll let it keep right on crossing. Past old man Johnson's farm, past the old mill, and right out your other ear. You're not joining the team. <laughs> Last time you played with us, it was a disaster. I wouldn't call it a disaster. Oh, no? What would you call it? Well, uh... What's another word for disaster? Uh, <laughs> fiasco? It wasn't really a fiasco. A tragedy? That's a bit strong. A calamity? No, I don't think a it was... Catastrophe. A catastrophe. That's a good one. <laughs> you got into a fight within the first 30 seconds of the game. Well, I was nervous. I, I panicked. I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, besides, fighting is an accepted part of hockey. You fought with me. <laughs> well, I hope I didn't punch you too hard. <laughs> what punching? You were biting me. <laughs> All right, forget it. It was just an idea. Right. And when did you become Mr. Thesaurus? Ah, it's these increase your word power tapes I've been listening to at night. I learned new words like fantabulous. That's what kept me up all night. Fantabulous, fantabulous. Yeah, hey, those tapes, they're really, um, good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't have time for your petty domestic squabble. Saturday night is quickly approaching and I am still dateless. What are you gonna do? I'll find someone. In fact, here comes a highly dateable babe right now. Observe, you might learn something. Tanya. Chicky poo. <clears throat> How you doing? How about a night in paradise? Hmm? You, me, alone. Above us, the stars and the moon. Below us, Monster Truck Mania 2000! <laughs> Which is in town! 
This weekend? Get lost. <clears throat> it's just a minor setback. <clears throat> Morgan, how you doing? <clears throat> it's your lucky day. You get to come with me to the Monster Truck Mania on Saturday. Get away from me. <laughs> you know, whatever happened to romance, huh? Guys are such pigs. Yeah, why would we want to go to a monster dork rally? <laughs> I know some girls that will go out with you. Really, you do? Who? Well, there's Betty and Veronica. <laughs> and there's Madrel. She's cute. And there's Big Ethel. How many times do I have to tell you the Archies are not real? They're just saying that to be mean. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm doomed. I'm up the creek without a babe. What are you saying, Kevy, old boy? I've seen you pull out of bigger jams than this. Now you don't understand. I've asked every girl I know. They all turn me down. I see. You've got a problem, then. Yes. Might even say you're desperate. Yes. Then this is the perfect opportunity for me to present you the answer to all your problems. And that answer is cologne. Cologne? <laughs> yes. After years of research in my secret lab far below my parents' living room, <laughs> it is my honor to introduce to you Ethan St. John's Babe Magnet Cologne. <laughs> With ammonia D. It looks like window cleaner. It is, mostly. <clears throat> but it is also a potent mixture of herbs and essences specifically designed to drive women crazy. Ethan, I'm really not in the mood for one of your stupid scams. You might say that this is a scam. Well, this is no scam. Let me demonstrate. Now, I've never tried this formulation before, so I do not know exactly what will happen. But if my latest calculations are correct... Hundreds of women shall throw themselves at me in an uncontrollable outburst of wild and untamed passion. <laughs> Here goes. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> Better stand back now. <laughs> Any second now. <laughs> Hundreds of women. This stuff doesn't work. Yeah, no problem. Maybe I didn't make it potent enough. Maybe if I get near a woman, it'll work. If you get near a woman, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> What's this? I could not say this to you in person, so I wrote you this letter. You are gorgeous. <laughs> I am madly in love with you, but I am too shy to say it to your face. Words cannot describe your magnificence. You are fantastic. You are fabulous. You are fantabulous. <laughs> Signed, your secret admirer. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so romantic. A secret admirer. I wonder who it is. Well, maybe it's Tommy Lerner. Or maybe it's Steve Wilson. Or maybe it's Ben Penderton. No, but none of those guys would use a stupid word like fantabulous. Hey, Ethan, how's it going? I'm fantabulous. <laughs> Ethan? Oh. Have you been cleaning windows? Uh, no. <laughs> Ethan, I never knew this side of you before. I mean, to be honest, I always thought you were a bit of a jerk. <laughs> but now I know that beneath that dorky exterior, there lies a truly sensitive soul. Really? Yes. I mean, you know, anybody who could have written what you did has got to be a true romantic on the inside. I wrote something? <laughs> oh, come on. I know it's you. <laughs> you don't have to be shy. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about a nice, romantic dinner Friday night? <clears throat> you and me on a date together. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'll see you later. Aww. Can't believe it. 
This junk actually works. <laughs> Carmichael, Brenda Carmichael, I haven't asked her out. I'm telling you, babe, magnet cologne really works. Ethan, I'm not going to buy any of your stinky cologne, all right? Believe me, I am as surprised as you are, but Morgan actually asked me out on a date. I don't believe you. It's true. <laughs> Hello, is that Brenda? Hey, you sound kind of cute. <laughs> Listen, you don't know me, but uh, how would you feel about an exciting day at the monster truck rally followed by a night of dancing at the dungeon pit? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sister. I didn't realize this was a convent. <laughs> so is that a no or... I could not say this to you in person, so I wrote you this letter. You are gorgeous? <laughs> I am madly in love with you, but I'm too shy to say it to your face. Words cannot describe your magnificence. You are fantastic. You are fabulous. You are fantabulous. Sign your secret admirer. <gasps> is going to revolutionize the entire world. This stuff is gold. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be elected king of the world. Not going to happen. You're right. Technically, kings can't be elected, but for me, they'll make an exception. Life is going to be fantabulous. Ethan? Uh, say, Ethan, uh, Whoa, was a janitor in here or something? <laughs> <clears throat> what is it, Tanya? Uh, <laughs> I have to admit, I, I never thought of you as a sensitive and romantic human being before. <laughs> Actually, I never thought of you as a human being before. But <laughs> things are different now. Now I see a different part of your soul. But let's talk about that somewhere else. A quiet little restaurant, maybe? How about Friday night? Ah, oh, Friday night. I'm I'm busy. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Then how about Saturday? <clears throat> I'll pencil you in. All right. This is unexpected. Hi. <laughs> how much you want for that cologne? <laughs> I got a secret admirer letter. Really? Yeah, me too. Really? Yeah, isn't it romantic? Yeah. And I know who my admirer is. Me too. Oh, isn't it fantabulous? <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I see that letter for a sec? This is like the exact same letter I got. Yours wasn't from Ethan, was it? Yes, it was. That no-good two-timer! That jerk! <laughs> of course, I got mine first, so he's mine. What? <laughs> it's only fair. Um, <laughs> he obviously sent me a letter because he wasn't happy with you. <gasps> we have a date Friday night, okay? We have a date Saturday night! <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna pick me over you. Oh, yeah? That boy! <laughs> Wait, do you realize what we're doing? We're fighting over Ethan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. We got a little bit out of hand there, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> He's mine! Hey, girls, this plan need to go around. Come on, get away from here. You get away, woman. Talk to the hand. Oh. Girls, girls, stop fighting over Ethan and start fighting. Way more Get away from him! Stop it! <laughs> Girls! I'm here! <laughs> he likes me more! Go away! <laughs> oh man, this stuff doesn't work at all. This is just great. This is just fantabulous. Kevin? Mm.
Besides, aren't you a bit old to have a gerbil? Aren't you a bit old to have a teddy bear? It's not a teddy bear, it's a beanie baby. <laughs> At least I don't snore. No, you just go, hey, all night long, hey, hey. I was doing my Tai Chi. Yeah, and then you jump up and down at six in the morning. I was doing my Tai Bo. Well, it's driving me crazy. Listen, Ethan. I know it could be annoying sometimes, so I just want to say that I really appreciate you letting me stay at your place. You're a good friend of mine, and I don't want to lose that for anything in the world. So if you want me to stay somewhere else, I will. Really? Grab my stuff after school. No, you won't, George. I'm sorry if I yelled at you. Your friendship means a lot to me, too, and you can stay at my place for as long as you like. That's great, Ethan. Thanks. Hug. Don't push it. Okay. <laughs> hey, George. Yeah. Ethan, need some more of that cologne. What for? You already stole my two dates. Yeah, but now I'm going to try for Wendy Gwendolyn. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, mm. on one condition. Anything, anything you want, you got it. You let me be on the hockey team. No way. Oh, come on! Why well, can't you on the team anyway? You'd have to try it like everybody else. But you could put in a good word for me. Why do you want to be on the team now? You could use your cologne to get girls. I just want to be on the team so I could be cool like you. Oh. All right, let's see what I can do. Ah, great! Right. All right. You need to fill out one of these. What is it? It's an application form. Fill it out completely and write a letter saying why you want to be on the team. Okay. Okay. Wendy Gwendolyn, here I go. Oh. Wendy skates up to the net. Shoot, score! Yeah! That's 75 to nothing. That's great. I'm improving. All right. <laughs> Monday's tryouts. All I gotta do is give Kevin my application letter. Hey, I'll do that for you, Chief. Uh, no, I think you better let me do it. Oh, it's okay, I wanna do it. For my buddy, Ethan. <laughs> All right, just stick it in his locker. We have to find out whether Ethan or Kevin wrote these letters. Wait a second, George isn't spending a lot of time at Ethan's house. Maybe he knows if he wrote the letters. Right. Let's go find him. <laughs> Hi, girls. <laughs> You scared us. Ah, oh, it's okay. I'm used to it. I scare my father like that every morning. What do you do? Sneak up on him? Oh, no. I just say, Hi, Dad. I'm your son. <laughs> Man, you should see him scream. Um, George, we have a few questions to ask you. <laughs> okay, wait. I just gotta... Just, wait a second. Yeah, wait, wait I gotta... Wait! <laughs> I gotta put Ethan's hockey application in Kevin's locker. Mom! <laughs> I know Wendy's got a mean left hook. One of them went wrong. What's this? <clears throat> I could not say this to your face, so I wrote you this letter. You are gorgeous. <laughs> I am madly in love with you, but I am too shy to say it. Words cannot describe your m magnificence. <laughs> you are fantastic. You are fabulous. You are fantabulous. Signed, your secret admirer. Ah, Kevin, I see you got my letter. <laughs> You wrote this? Yeah. To me? Of course. I must have put too much on. So, what do you think? I, uh, I never knew you felt this way. Well, of course you did. I've wanted this for a long time. <laughs> Listen, I respect your choice and I have nothing against it, but frankly, I'm a little uncomfortable with this. Come on, Kev. Just give me a try. I I've even been practicing with George. <laughs> You have? Yeah, for the past two days now. At your house? Yeah, and just before in the ante room. <laughs> Kevin, just give me a try. I mean, I know I won't disappoint you. Look, I'm flattered, but 
I really don't think this is going to work out. It can work. Just teach me. Teach me. Help. I put in the wrong letter. Kev, this letter is for you. Not you, too. I gotta go wash this stuff off of my face right now. <laughs> it's Ethan's hockey application. Oh. Well, then what's this? It's a love letter. All right. I think the big question here is, why do you guys smell like window cleaner? It's Ethan's revolutionary new cologne, and it's making you all crazy. It's making us nauseous is what it's doing. <laughs> Which one of you wrote the letter? I did. George? That's so sweet. It's so romantic. Thank you. Just a timer. Three timer. <laughs> but I'm not really the secret admirer. It's just that Morgan was complaining that there was no romance anymore. So I thought if I'd write you a secret admirer letter, it might cheer you up. Then I didn't want Tanya to be left out, so I wrote you one too. Aww. George, you're so sweet after all. And you're so romantic. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing Saturday night? <laughs> Whoa, back off there. He's mine. Uh, I saw him first. No, I think he likes me more than you. Oh, in your dreams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You thought I... Yeah. With the... Yeah. And, and the... Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah? No? Yeah? No. You guys know anybody who can use two tickets to Monster Truck Rally tomorrow? <laughs> I think I know somebody. <laughs> Monster Truck Mania 2000, here we come. What? <laughs> you two think I should like that kind of thing. Yeah, but we saw the TV ad and it looks pretty cool, huh? 2,000 tons of power every hour. <laughs> <laughs> Gates around, passes to Ethan St. John, who misses it completely and goes scrambling for it under the desk. <laughs> Ethan passes back to Kevin Calvin. Tanya gets in the way, but she moves. Kevin gets a shot, passes it to, to George. George back to Oh, Miss Atoll's gonna kill us. Don't worry, guys. 